Hello, so we are back. Finally Friday. And what do we have here? We have a nice laptop. This is a Dell laptop. The jobs come, uh, uh, came from a local repair shop. Uh, water damage not turning on. Okay, so that's the problem with this laptop. Now let's plug it and see what it's doing. Can I fix it? I mean, water damage is, uh, you know, it's a tricky repair. You found it, found it. So plug in the charger. Let me switch the power supply to 19. Yeah. A little bit of current. Plug in the charger and it's taking like 20 milliamps. 20 milliamps, let's press the power button. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. You can see, I mean, the current is not going up, so it's just dead. We don't have any light, like charging light or power on light, nothing. Okay, oh, okay, yeah, one screw is missing. Actually, there are two missing, three missing. But let's open and have a look inside. And the laptop is open. That's a nice word. Let's check here. I mean, I can't see liquid damage here. Everything is clean. I mean, even on the keyboard, I can't see liquid damage. Let's unplug the, the battery. Let's plug the charger. So the charger is plugged in and it's taking same amount of, power, of, of current. Let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail is... ...19.5. Okay, that's bad. So the main power rail is present. Uh, where is the power button? Let's see if we have voltage on the power button. The power button is on the keyboard. Wow. Let's see if we have voltage on the power button. We have 3.3 on the keyboard uh, ribbon cable. Okay, we have a lot of 3.3 volts. Uh, we have a lot of 3.3 volts there. Uh, we have two bias chips here, 1.6 volts, which I don't think is right, and one volt on the bias chip. Do you think this is right? Yeah, one volt on the bias chip? Or I'm not... P number one is here, yeah? So we have one volt on the BIOS chip, and the other one, no, the other one, pin number one is here. And the other one, we have one volt. So it is a BIOS chip can work with one volt? Hmm? That's the question. Not so. Cannot work with one volt. The lowest I seen is like 1.8 volts, but from 1.8 to 1 volt, yeah. Let's take the board out because uh, at this point I do believe there is some uh, liquid damage. Usually a board, uh, when it's faulty, it's either working or not. I mean, things what you check, either are good or not. But when it's liquid damage, you can have like in the middle, like here, I mean, it's like one volt, it's no missing, it's no right, it's just uh, in the middle. Okay, so we took the board out, and indeed, check there, check there. You can see here some liquid damage, yeah. But it's only there, otherwise, this board is quite clean. It came from here, okay. 
let's check closely that area. Yeah, and this area is the area with the BIOS chips, you can see. So that can explain why we have one volt on the BIOS chip. Mm? So what do you think about that? What is that and what do you think about that? Huh? I mean, it looks pretty straightforward. Let's clean it. We have a resistor and a capacitor. Let's dry. Now let's check the capacitor, just to be sure it's good. Probably the capacitor is good. Probably it is good. And that's all, it's good. It's fine. I don't know about this resistor, but this resistor looks good. Mm? It's nothing wrong with the resistor. He soldered properly, no issue. So I believe that was the that was the problem with this board. Yeah, there's no liquid damage otherwise on the board. No, perfectly clean. So let's feed the board quickly. The charging port is not here, okay. If you have uh, liquid damage on the bio ship and the bio ship uh, doesn't have the right voltage, it will not charge also. So I connect the charging port. I'm just curious if it's charging. To plug in the charger. 20 milliamps. No, it's not working. Oh. oh. The capacitor was not shorted, the resistor was fine. And on the bio ship we have nothing. Uh, one volt, sorry, one volt. So on the bio ships we still have only one volt. Yeah, one volt. You can see. So why is that? Hmm? Of course, we have no schematic and no board view. Okay, let's check something else. Yeah, let's go back to the area where was uh, liquid damage. And let's check the voltage on those resistors there. Okay, so on this resistor, what voltage do we have? Here we have 1.1 and here we have 3.3. 1.1, 1, .1, 1 volt, and here 3.3. So I believe here is something wrong. So probably this is the, the, the voltage for the BIOS chip. And uh, this resistor is only passing the voltage here. So here we have 3.3 and here 1.1. Yeah. So if I will short this, should be fine, right? So we short this and it's still taking 20 milliamps of all. Let's check the voltage after we short this resistor, yeah? So after we short this resistor, the voltage is 3.3. Okay, that's right. That's right. So what's the solution? The solution is a proper calibrated wire there. It should be fine. It is important uh, there to be a resistor. Well, according with the schematics, yes. But you have to focus on what you want. So what do you want? I want 3.3 on the bio chips. Yeah. Then use a wire. Okay. That's how you should put the problem. I have an email in the morning. Uh, someone looking for help for replacing a fuse. I mean... Come on, it's a wire, you know what I mean? Perfect. A fuse is a wire. 
you didn't check properly the the wire it will explode you checked and uh, everything is fine then it will work on the same way with the wire and uh, a fuse yeah there will be no difference I mean I understand a fuse is actually a calibrated wire but just getting stuck on something like that, okay, I cannot fix it because uh, I don't want to use a wire, I want to use a fuse. It's kind of stupid, you know what I mean? Good. Oh, the charger was plugged in, I can't believe. The charger was plugged in. Okay, so let's plug only the battery, yeah? Because if the battery is charging, it's a good sign, everything is okay. So we plug the battery, we plug the charger, check that, check that, check that, 40 milliamps, and it's going up 700 milliamps, and we have light here, you can see light, hmm? now let's unplug those things, let me plug the screen, just to see if we have picture and everything is fine, you know. We don't need a battery, right? On this point, we don't really need a battery. Or maybe. No. If the laptop it will start, now yeah, it will start. We don't need a battery. So let's see if we have picture. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. And no, it's not working. We don't have picture. Well, that's bad. I mean, the board is on. The CPU is warm. We have an error code here. Huh, the screen is not plugged in properly, I can't believe. The screen was not plugged in properly. So one more time. No, it's not working. We don't have picture. And it's working. I can't believe actually it's working. Wow. Let, let me let me let me figure it out. Which was the problem? Yeah. Unplug the battery. Let me unplug the fan. I mean, this computer is not starting without the fan or what? Plug back the battery. Now the laptop is coming on and it's working okay okay I, 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 I think I know why so let's unplug this board yeah let's unplug this board good plug in back the battery plug in the charger yeah it's not working without this board so without this board, it's not working. Probably here has the lead sensor or uh, or something. No, it's not working. You can see on the screen. Hard drive not installed. Okay, so we plug the uh, genuine charger and uh, we get rid of that error with uh, not charging. Let's see the, the battery voltage if it's going up. Yeah, it is going up. So the battery is charging fine with uh, with a genuine charger. Yeah. So basically, the laptop is fixed. Yeah, it is holding the charge. So the only problem was the missing voltage from the BIOS chip. And then after that, I just spinning around my uh, my tail. The laptop it will not start with this board. This board which has this connector. Yeah. I didn't know that, but looks who knows. Maybe the hull sensor is on this board. Good, so I'll stop here. I'll not uh, keep you anymore. It was a nice and pleasant job for a Friday. I will say thank you for watching.
please like and subscribe and have a beautiful weekend. Bye.